With a treasure trove of PlayStation titles available on PS Plus, many games demand a significant time commitment. But for busy gamers, we've carefully selected the top 20 games on PS Plus that you can conquer in a weekend. Get ready for quick and intense adventures. Number 20 is my friend Pedro. For those looking for something action-packed, albeit a bit strange, should check out this side-scrolling action and platforming shooter that sees players gunning their way through an array of enemies while taking orders from a sentient banana. Although the story is interesting, the combat is where this game really shines. Players will be able to flip and shoot their way through rooms, using focus to slow down time and gaining higher score modifiers for gracefully taking down foes. My friend Pedro delivers some really spectacular bullet time sequences, many interesting situations, and a variety of powerful weapons for you to use, all within a short four-hour runtime. Number 19 is Thymesia, an impressive action RPG with amazing fast-paced combat and a complex plague weapon system, despite being developed by a relatively small team. While it excels in several areas such as combat, it falls short in terms of level design. The game fully embraces the Souls-like subgenre, delivering a fast-paced and deliberately aggressive gameplay style where blocking isn't an option, requiring players to rely on dodging and mastering parrying. The protagonist wields plague weapons, which are generally enjoyable to use. The playthrough typically lasts about seven hours, and while regular combat is often a fun power fantasy, the game truly shines in its boss fights. Number 18 is Matterfall, a side-scrolling shooter that shares the punishing and high-stakes gameplay of the roguelike game Returnal. In this explosively colorful arcade shooter, you must survive high-intensity side-scrolling war zones in vertical cities overrun by mysterious smart matter. Matterfall features a unique ability to create platforms out of thin air, adding an extra layer of strategy to the game. While the game only lasts around four hours, it'll keep daring you to come back and try to beat it once more. Number 17 is The Gardens Between, an innovative and charming puzzle game that follows two children as they go on a journey through their memories. Each level has a unique theme and structure, and the core gameplay introduces new ideas constantly throughout the short story. Rather than provide full control over the leads, the game allows players to manipulate time, allowing the children to move forward or backward. This needs to be done to carve a path to a level's endpoint. This short and simple adventure holds a lot of charm and offers a memorable and unique experience. The Gardens Between is imaginative and well-designed, making it one of the best short games on PS Plus. Number 16 is Omno, a delightful and visually stunning indie adventure game that takes players on a magical journey through a lush and mysterious world. As you explore the game's beautifully crafted environments, you'll encounter fascinating creatures, solve intricate puzzles, and uncover the secrets of an ancient civilization. Omno not only boasts captivating gameplay but also offers a serene and meditative experience, making it perfect for those seeking a relaxing yet engaging adventure. With its imaginative world and engaging mechanics, Omno undeniably stands as one of the standout gems available on PS Plus. Number 15 is Deliver Us the Moon. In a future where Earth has been depleted of its natural resources, humanity's last hope rests on the moon, where the discovery of helium-3, which is a critical isotope that promises to resolve the planet's crisis. Deliver Us the Moon offers an intriguing premise brimming with tension as it plunges players into an end-of-the-world scenario, amplifying the sense of isolation experienced by the protagonist. This game provides a relatively short yet captivating story-driven experience. Its gameplay primarily centers around exploration and puzzle solving. While the puzzles may not present significant challenges, they are well-crafted and engaging, enhancing the overall experience. Number 14 is Tearaway Unfolded. 2013's Tearaway stands as one of the best PS Vita games of all time, and its PS4 remake maintains the same level of excellence. Given that the original heavily relied on the touch controls of the handheld console, this release had to adapt to suit a home system. Tearaway Unfolded is a captivating 3D platformer set in a stunning world. Although the protagonist's moveset is relatively straightforward, the gameplay places a strong emphasis on environmental interaction. During the 8-hour gameplay, 
players must manipulate the landscape to guide their character to their next destination. With its charm and immense amount of fun, Tearaway Unfolded serves as the perfect platformer for all ages. Number 13 is Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition, an over-the-top action romp featuring a space pirate armed with a whip that can tear enemies in half. This FPS, originally released in 2011 to decent reception, offers a throwback to classic run-and-gun shooters without the punishing difficulty. The full clip edition adds a fresh coat of paint to ensure the game delivers beautiful mayhem. In Bulletstorm, you'll wade through hordes of enemies, all seemingly eager to meet their demise in countless silly ways and sporting smiles every step of the way. While the main story is relatively short, lasting only a few hours, Bulletstorm stands out as one of the most enjoyable FPS games on PS Plus Premium. Fans of the genre who missed out on this gem should definitely give it a try while it's available on Sony's service. Number 12 is Ghost Runner, an exhilarating action game set in a grim cyberpunk megastructure. You take on the role of a blade fighter with a mission to overthrow a tyrannical figure in this cyberpunk world. The game's main highlight is its lightning-fast and intense gameplay, where a single hit spells instant death for the player. With its narrowly focused and concise gameplay, Ghost Runner offers an adrenaline-fueled experience that demands quick decision-making, precise platforming, and a range of skills. The seamless combination of high-octane combat and challenging platforming sections creates a truly immersive experience that lasts around seven hours. If you're enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Number 11 is Observation. This magnificent game takes place entirely on a derelict space station, which is out of commission and trapped in low Earth orbit. An astronaut is stranded there, but you play as an artificial intelligence program named Sam. In observation, you spend most of your time hopping between cameras and manipulating technology. Your goal is to help the astronaut figure out why the station is malfunctioning and why they're trapped there. Like the best hard sci-fi, the story concludes with an explanation that's as mind-blowing as it is entirely logical. Number 10 is The Medium. When it comes to horror games on PlayStation Plus, The Medium has made a profound impact with its latest update. Developed by Bloober Team, The Medium represents the culmination of their knowledge and experience. The result is a psychological horror experience that thrusts the protagonist into nightmarish and thought-provoking scenarios. What makes the medium even more significant is its striking resemblance to the legendary horror game Silent Hill 2, with its remake expected to be released on September 29. This similarity makes the medium an absolute must-play for fans eagerly awaiting the remake's release. Number 9 is Abzu. Abzu is cut from the same cloth as Journey. While not quite as revered as the latter, the 2016 release still garnered a largely positive reception thanks to its stunning environments, relevant theme, and great soundtrack. As a diver, players explore an ocean filled with remnants of a bygone civilization. During the journey, the protagonist begins to revitalize the sea. Abzu is the type of experience designed to be consumed in one session. Lasting roughly two hours, the game does not offer much in the way of replay value, although the length can be expanded if the player takes their time to thoroughly explore the environments. Number 8 is Canum Bridge of Spirits. This visually impressive action-adventure title immerses players in a fully realized fantasy world with absolutely gorgeous locations. The art style and special effects are undoubtedly some of the game's strongest features. That being said, the rest of the experience is far from underwhelming. In terms of gameplay, Kena shares similarities with bow-wielding games like Tomb Raider and Horizon Forbidden West, while also incorporating staff-themed melee attacks. Although the combat can be somewhat repetitive, it remains generally enjoyable and surprisingly challenging, especially during encounters with campaign bosses. In addition to battles, the game heavily relies on puzzles and exploration, both of which are well executed. However, the game's main story offers around nine hours of enjoyment. Number seven is Inside. Inside is generally regarded as one of the greatest games of the 2010s and time has done nothing to alter that perspective. Set within a sci-fi horror world, this surreal masterpiece largely resists the urge to spoon-feed its narrative or themes to players, encouraging them to come to their conclusions. Inside's gameplay is simple but effective, 
More importantly, it perfectly complements the game's story, soundtrack, and visuals. Inside is not only one of the best short games on PS Plus Extra, but also one of the service's best titles in general. Number 6 is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Ubisoft's games are known for their massive worlds and lengthy campaigns that can easily last more than 40 hours, and that's a conservative figure. However, exceptions do exist, and if Blood Dragon is anything to go by, they should be more frequent. Blood Dragon combines the main game's solid first-person shooter gameplay with an over-the-top narrative ripped right out of 80s action movies. Although naturally streamlined, Blood Dragon still has its share of open areas that encourage exploration. They're just nowhere near as vast as those in other open-world games. If someone is searching for a Far Cry experience that is stripped of side activities, Blood Dragon is the best option. Number 5 is Resident Evil 7, a return to the series' horror roots in presentation, setting, and gameplay. It's slow and methodical, tense and frightening. Every battle is a fight-or-flight decision for your life. Every missed shot is a small-scale disaster that has the potential to cost you later on. Every time you escape by the skin of your teeth, you'll wonder if you'll be able to find a crucial item or ammo in time to deal with whatever will come next. Resident Evil 7 offers one of the best spooky atmospheres in the franchise with many of the classic mechanics that built the original formula. Yet it has enough new elements to stand its ground amidst similar games. Without a doubt, this is a must-play if you are looking for a short horror experience. Number 4 is What Remains of Edith Finch, a fantastic short story-driven experience that can rival a triple-A release in terms of emotional impact despite its relatively short runtime. What Remains of Edith Finch is an emotionally charged, occasionally eerie, and beautifully designed walking simulator that guides players through an unfolding mystery. Without giving away too much about this exquisitely crafted mini-masterpiece, the main story should take players around two hours to complete. For those who want to explore every nook and cranny of this captivating and thought-provoking adventure, expect to spend about three hours immersed in its visually striking environments. Number 3 is Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. While the original Spider-Man game was a massive open-world action title, its immediate follow-up Miles Morales takes a more manageable approach, resembling the scale of a standalone expansion. Spider-Man Miles Morales retains everything that made the original great while eliminating unnecessary elements like repetitive side quests. Although it may be shorter than the main entry since it lasts only around 8 hours when focusing on the main story, the game offers an engaging story that delves into the hero's dual life, a concept he is just beginning to grapple with since he is still new to being Spider-Man. Number 2 is Shadow of the Colossus. Blue Point games can be relied upon to deliver high-quality remakes, and the studio's 2018 rendition of Shadow of the Colossus is a treat for fans of Team Eco's PS2 classic. Retaining the core elements of the original version, the remake improves the visuals and controls, providing a faithful but modernized experience. Shadow of the Colossus drops players into a desolate world and gives them a straightforward task. Kill 16 roaming beasts to save the life of one girl. The forbidden land is haunting but sporadically beautiful, and while the map isn't that large, the game does a splendid job of making it feel epic. The main story of this veritable masterpiece should last around 7 hours and is undoubtedly one of the greatest short games on PlayStation Plus. Number 1 is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This standalone expansion to the popular Uncharted series brings all the excitement and adventure fans love, packed into a more condensed and focused experience. The game offers the same cinematic storytelling, breathtaking visuals, and action-packed gameplay that have become the franchise's trademarks. The Lost Legacy takes players on a thrilling journey as they follow the Uncharted 2 protagonist and the Uncharted 4 secondary antagonist, who've teamed up to find a treasure in the western region of India. The game provides a perfect balance of exploration, puzzle-solving, and intense combat encounters, making it a true Uncharted adventure in a more compact form. While it may be shorter than some of the mainline Uncharted titles, the Lost Legacy offers around seven hours of non-stop excitement and storytelling. It's a testament to Naughty Dog's ability to craft captivating experiences and is a must-play for fans of the series and newcomers alike. 
Thank you for joining us as we discovered the best short games on PS Plus. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, happy gaming!